Hello friends. So welcome to the third and last video of the first module that was oscillations. So previously we have studied what is simple harmonic motion or commonly known as SHM and in the part 2 we have studied about damped vibrations. So now in this video we will be continuing our lectures with forced vibrations. So we all know that the amplitude of oscillations for a damped oscillatory motion of a body goes on decreasing with time due to loss of energy to overcome the resistive forces. But if an external periodic force is supplied to the system to make up for the losses, the amplitude of vibration does not decay with time and the body will vibrate or oscillate regularly under such periodic force. So this vibration of the body and this kind of vibration is known as forced vibration. So we have to apply an external periodic force to maintain the oscillations. So let me write the definition of forced vibration for you all. So here is a definition for you all. Note it down. If an external periodic force is applied to the system to make up for the energy losses that we are previously suffering from, then the vibration of this type is known as the force vibration. So these vibrations will does not decay with time. So now let us see the differential form of the equation for force vibration and let us solve it. So from previous definitions we have the equations for this is m that is the mass of the body into d square x by dt square equal to minus of ax minus of b dx dt plus f naught e to the power i p t here p is the cyclic frequency of periodic force and x is the instantaneous displacement. So we can write this equation as or it can be written as taking m d square x by dt square plus 2k into dx dt plus omega square x that is equal to f into e to the power i p t. So we have got this equation as the differential form of the equation for forced vibrations let it name as equation number one here k is equal to b by 2m that is the we all know that it is the damping constant and omega here represents root over a by m that is a natural angular frequency and f that is small f is equal to f naught by m this is the amplitude of driving force per unit mass. So now as you can see that this is a second order first degree differential equation of force vibration. So if we want to solve this we need to have two things. Number one is the particular integral. And number two, we all know the complementary function. So let us try and solve it in a very short manner. Now, point number one, we have to find the particular integral or pi. So how to find the pi? So we need to have a conceptual or imaginary solution of this equation. So let it be x equal to a dash e to the power i p t. So we can see if we differentiate this we will be getting dx by dt is equal to i p a dash e to the power i p t. We are getting this value. So now again differentiating it 
and making it of a higher degree it's d squared x by dt square is equal to minus p square a dash e to the power i p t we get this equation let it be equation number two let it name as this now substituting these values in the above equations or in the differential equation that we have got here what we will be getting let's see so if you substitute this value of d square x by dt square we will be getting minus p square a dash e to the power i p t plus 2k a dash i p e to the power i p t plus omega square a a dash e to the power i p t equal to f e to the power i p t so now we can see what this value becomes it becomes a dash minus of p square plus 2i kp plus omega square equal to f or we can say it can be written as a dash we can getting the value of a dash that is f by omega square minus p square into sorry it will be plus here i 2k p so now let where we, we are considering omega square minus p square is equal to b cos of phi and also 2k p is equal to b sin phi let us consider these two conditions so now let's see what happens if we substitute these values in the uh, equation so now if you put the conditions that i have assumed the equation becomes somewhat like this capital b square is equal to 4 k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square or we can say b is equal to 4 k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square whole root over so from here we also can find the value of tan phi that is you can see it will be 2 kp by omega square minus p square so this is the value of tan phi therefore we can say a dash is equal to f by we are re replacing this equation f by b cos of phi plus i sine of phi so that must be equal to f by b into e to the power i phi which is equal to f by 4k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square whole root over into e to the power minus i phi so we have got this equation hence we get the particular integral from the equation that is x equal to a dash e to the power i p t that is equal to f by root over 4k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square into e to the power i p t minus phi so what we have got here we have got this result and we can also define the amplitude from here so amplitude can be written as a equal to f by 4k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square whole root over so this is the amplitude now we will straight away jump on to the complementary function so now we are going to the part 2 that is complementary
function. So the complementary function can be obtained by putting the right hand side of the equation equal to 0. So if we put that it will be d square x by dt square plus 2k dx dt plus omega square x equal to 0. When damping constant k is small the solution of this equation is the equation of damped oscillatory motion and it gives this kind of solution. So let me write it if k is small then x equal to c e to the power minus k t sine of omega dash t plus delta where c and delta are two constants depending on the initial condition. So the general solution of equation x equal to complementary function plus particular integral. Therefore, we can say the general solution must look like x equal to c e to the power minus k t into sin of omega dash t plus delta plus f by root over 4k square p square plus omega square minus p square whole square into e to the power i pt minus 5. So this is the general solution of the equation for forced vibration. So you can see this is the general solution.